Hello, and today we're going to talk about Editable Grid, a much anticipated feature for Dynamics 365 from Microsoft. With Editable Grid, there are a couple of different experiences that you can have. Some are in the browser and some are exclusive to mobile and tablet. Um, we'll start in the browser and we'll start first with the first Editable Grid inline editing experience you can have, which is the Home Grid. This essentially just replaces a view and allows you to edit in line on that view. So once you set this up with an entity, you can just go into a record. I'll go into Coho Winery here, and you can adjust the value for that particular record and field. Uh, this does work on more than just text fields. So if you have additional things like pick lists and what have you, you can use that to do some inline editing. The other thing it allows you to do is to do things like filtering and grouping and also sorting. So if I sort on, let's say, state, you can see that that sort works. Or if I wanted to group these, perhaps, by state, you'll see that that grouping looks very similar to what you have within Excel. So it's a, a very familiar type of experience for using the editable grid. Uh, it also does interact with the chart. So let me remove my grouping real quick. And let's see if I can bring up a chart. And if I wanted to sort these maybe by a particular industry, I could select the chart and it would filter down on the grid. So uh, providing you a lot of the things you would want to have related to a home grid. And if you wanted to go back to the experience of using the read only grids, the sort of traditional dynamics grids that we're accustomed to, uh, you can, you can switch back and forth between the two. In the browser, there's also the experience of using the editable grids on a form. So this would allow you, if you were on an account, for example, to uh, update a list of cases that are related to that, that account all at once. So if I'm on an account like Cisco Systems, I can go to Recent Cases, and here I have my editable grid on the form itself uh, for a subgrid. So on that, I can do the things that I was doing on the home grid, sorting, grouping, editing, all of those fun things. You get some additional functionality when you switch over to the mobile experience. So let me do that. And here you can see on the tablet version of the Dynamics 365 app, uh, I have my editable grid here. So I could go in and I could, for example, uh, edit the phone number in line here on this account and just do a quick save. On the mobile version, you also get this concept of nesting, where I could be on an account, and if I open up the Cisco account for North America using this caret, I can see uh, related data. Uh, so let me open up Cisco Systems, and you'll see that underneath Cisco Systems, I have an opportunity under here. So I would be able to go and look at a list of accounts or a list of contacts and see the opportunities or cases or whatever you chose as an entity to display um, listed beneath each of those. Also exclusive to the, the tablet app and the phone app is this concept of being able to edit on a dashboard. So that allows me to kind of quickly and easily jump into the app, make some quick changes to some data, not have to jump into a record, not have to jump into a form and do those changes. So when we look at the editable grid, um, it's on the web, it's on the phone, it's on the tablet. Um, there's a little bit more that you can do related to editable grids when you're on the phone and the tablet. Hopefully at some point in the future, those capabilities will also spill over to the browser version. Um, but it's a pretty powerful tool and it's really great for day-to-day -day use, which is why uh, many people have been asking for it for a number of years for Dynamics. If you have additional questions about editable grid or anything Dynamics related, uh, please give us a call and give us a shout at Sonoma Partners.